With rust lurking around every corner in the machine shop, I'm always looking for a solution. With so many choices to fight rust, I thought I'd do an experiment to find out which one's the best. With a list in hand of all the top rated rust killers, I set out to find my own answers to find out which one of these really is the best. First on the list, Bow Shield T9. CRC 3-36. Stabil Rust Stopper. Minwax Finishing Paste. WD-40's Specialist Corrosion. Water-based Rust Block. To round out the list, I thought I'd add some penetrating oil, WD-40, PB Blaster, and the wild card Cool Mist, which I use on my milling machines. Bent up some test plates to emulate real world conditions. Sliced up some cast iron coupons, then sandblasted everything for a consistent clean surface. All the inhibitors were applied according to manufacturer's specifications. Here's the results after leaving them outside for eight weeks. Testing was done in Eastern Washington State during the summer when it's hot and dry. Actually, I was really surprised with the results. This coupon was left untreated as the control sample. Cast iron rusted completely. The plate steel has left some rust behind on the bottom. And overall, it's kind of what I expect. WD-40, here we go. Looks like it did pretty good, actually. In a pinch, I would use it. On the cast iron, though, it left a really dirty film kind of hard to get off, but it really didn't rust too bad. We got WD-40 Corrosion Specialist. This one did overall very well, but it left a residue behind on the cast iron, which I don't like, but it also applies very well. It sticks to the metal. Overall, the Minwax paste did a great job. It had zero rust, but hard to apply. The cast iron looks like I just applied it yesterday. Overall, exceptional. The cool mist was my wild card, didn't do so hot, I'm a little disappointed, I was hoping for better results, I think it's worse than the control coupon, uh, bummer. But that's why we're doing this test. The T9 did a fantastic job in the rust department, but it left the metal tarnished. It's kind of expensive and you don't get a lot in the can, but it does apply nice. The tarnish or the discoloration was very hard to remove. I don't know if I'd want this on my equipment. The CRC did pretty well in the rust department, but it also had some tarnishing that was hard to remove. The cast iron also had a little bit of surface rust, but not too bad. PB Blaster did pretty good in the rust department, still left some discoloring and some tarnish behind, which is kind of hard to remove. The cast iron had some surface rust on it but overall not too bad if this is all you got. Water-based rust block. I don't think it did so hot, but I also think it wasn't meant for outdoors, so the results might have varied if this was an indoor test, but not so good. Last up, stable rust stopper. By far the best looking test coupon of all of them. The cast iron performed excellent, left a little bit of residue, but it clearly wipes off fairly easily on the cast iron. Overall, this is my favorite on the ease of application and performance. This is not a sponsored video. All products were purchased for this unbiased shop experiment. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you aren't already.